here we, well we, Stan and I, are harvesting some purple corn. And one thing cool about this, this is, I say native, but it's been around in Utah in the West <clears throat> for a lot of years. And native tribes would grow this because of its drought resistance, its drought tolerance, and of how well it still produces under that stress where a lot of corn now takes a lot of water and you know in a desert that's not very conducive to what we have available and this corn did really well for the little bit of water it got and it's so green and you saw in this other video you can see the corn that's dried out and then the green because we planted a lot of cover crops we didn't till it and that allowed for just this lush growth and we tried to mow it down and then when we didn't have the water for it we just kind of let it go by the wayside but it still produced quite a bit so it's really cool to harvest this and and we want to keep some for seed for next year because this stuff is really precious it's not as i don't know if rare is the right word maybe but we want to be able to continue to grow this where it's more native to this area and it's more conducive to to drought droughts and stuff but we also want to give you an opportunity to try this out whether through um popcorn or meal for cornbread or to bake with it and stuff and so stay tuned because we'd love to be able to offer this to you in the future but this uh this purple corn is is just really neat and like I said it's been indigenous for a while and it's uh it's pretty cool and um, depending on where it was originally mostly with the Hopi, but the Hopi only count it as Hopi purple corn if it was grown on their land. And so we don't call it Hopi corn. They, so we, um, like in Oregon, it's called the Oregon purple corn. So in Utah, it's the Utah purple corn. And it's just really fun to do something more indigenous. We hope to try this more often, more, you know, you know different types of crops as, we grow and try new things and it's really fun and the animals love going through it. Moxie loves jumping through it and the chickens like going through it. Um, so yeah, just a little short video on that. Hope to talk more about this later. I didn't get to this video um, until later in the evening. and uh, But yeah, thanks for joining me and I'll... Talk to you tomorrow, Recipe Wednesday. Really looking forward to tomorrow and all the yummy things that we're going to cook. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.